What is up, Scar and I bringing you Let's Play Super Mario 64 Finale Part 3. So, in the last two Finale parts, uh, we finally defeated the game. And in this part, we're actually gonna show a bonus type of thing, even though it's still Finale. Um, well, you'll see why it's a finale, but that you won't see that till the end of the video. But basically, this cannon will be unlocked if you collect 120 stars. So I'm gonna go inside, and yes, it's indeed a cannon. When I first played this, I was throughout the game wondering what the heck it was, and then like wondering if I, you know, I just kept checking with the the cannon and stuff, and uh. I, I soon realized after I beat the game that because I 100 percented the first time I played and uh, yeah that's what it was you know you have to shoot up in the in this rooftop uh, but in the Mario 64 DS version this this happens all right so if you go as Luigi and you go on the cannon you have to have 150 stars to activate this cannon you shoot on top of the rooftop and uh, you will find back here three lives and a whopping green bunny but you have to come as Luigi that's why I did that and uh, that's pretty much it and you get a key but if you get six bunnies from Luigi already then you don't need the seventh really so uh, yeah secret green bunny back to you Scar Knight oh and you got a block too okay so but in the Mario 64 original version uh, you go up here and you find Yoshi. Uh, oh, and there's also a wing cap here. But let me talk to Yoshi. Mario! Oh, that really you it has been so long since our last adventure. They told me that I might see you if you... If I walk, if I wait here, if I can talk. But I just about to give it up hope. Is it true? Have you really beaten Bowser? And restored the stars to the castle? And saved Pr the princess? I knew you could do it! Now I have very special messages for you! Thanks for playing Super Mario 64. This is the end of the game, but not the end of the fun. We want you to keep on playing, so we have a little something for you. We hope that you like it. Enjoy! The Super Mario 64 team! And it gives you 99 solid lives. Actually, 100 solid lives, if I'm not mistaken. That is... Well, to be honest, I feel like, okay, now what I'm going to do with it? I beat the game already. And yeah, now Yoshi just jumps off to... Well, right there is where the water's at, so... I mean, I don't think Yoshi could swim. I mean, in some games he can, but whatever. But now, we could do the solid... Uh, I messed up right there. Hang on one sec. You could uh, have sprinkles in your triple jump, which is pretty cool. I like that added to it. So, uh, yeah, you have that little effect to it now. And you have 100 lives to spare to do whatever you want. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the video. But I will show one more thing and there will be a bonus part uh, another thing I should point out is uh, uh, well this is a reflection of my um, my let's play uh, I'm glad that uh, since I was trying to still figure out how to set up everything for my dazzle and stuff like the first 16 parts were not the right audio track like I tried my best to, to make it count or whatever and uh, for the last, uh, if I can do math, 18 parts, I, I think it's 18, I finally have uh, the, the good quality audio. So, I, I don't know, I'm just glad that that happened. But anyway, now I'm going to show you Mario 64 DS finale and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So there will be a bonus part just... I don't know, if I, I think I mentioned it already. So, White Tigers and Dragons to you, and see you in the Mario 64 DS finale.
Post commentary scar and I bringing you Mario 64 DS finale. Now I'm not gonna explain too much on it. You'll just see a better graphical version of Bowser and a different kind of uh, graphical saying that's just fine. I've been looking for something. I don't know. I kind of missed this part, but I'll take you down and the, the princess something. I don't know. Uh, so what? I'm just gonna say what I forgotten to say um, when the crest was here last time basically I, there's a couple things like uh, for the past this finale the, the two other finales from you know the last three parts they have audio trouble <laughs> and I didn't know that but it's perfectly fine it, it's it's perfectly fine I also realized that I only cuss one time in this entire thing that's my challenge I figured that if I don't mention it, it's not gonna happen. It worked until I uh, brought my co-commentators over and I cussed. But, you know, challenge challenge approved and I kinda censored it so you wouldn't know that I did that. As you see here, I throw him, I hit him for the first time. But uh, the next thing I want to talk about is, uh, just in case you're curious, right now uh, in this state, if you're watching this in the distant future, I right now have 44 subscribers, so uh, I feel like I have a smaller fan base. I'm uh, not a smaller fan base. I feel like I have a good small fan base, and they're really loyal and they're very patient. And I'm really happy to be this far. You know, some people wouldn't think it's that far. As you can see, I hit him the second time. Here comes the third. Um. So yeah, I'm. Like I said, I think I'm gonna make it to the top of the let's play community not right now of course Bowser saying something I'm not even reading it I don't know why I should have it's going a little bit too fast anyway uh, another thing uh, my channel this is kind of a mini announcement my channel is gonna be bigger and better than ever why do I say that and I didn't say that before well now I'm able to put thumbnails up and people are attracted to them so that's why I feel like it's gonna be bigger and better and uh, people are actually gonna give it a chance and ignore the view count just look at the thumbnails yeah that's why I say that because don't lie you would look at whatever the thumbnail is in the video if it looks interesting enough you'll check it out so I feel like that's a good thing um but another thing I I missed I forgot to mention about Mario 64 is my my history with it so this is gonna sound a little cheesy coming from me but uh <clears throat> but uh, I I this is probably the game the reason why I I have a hobby in playing video games is because my next door neighbor played it and every time I would come over he would show me like some stuff he was like 16 or 18 at the time I forget I was like five but uh it, it was just I don't know it's just it was just a thing where I was like intrigued you know and uh, every time they had a babysit me like he would let me play and I just have so little memory of it but uh, I actually got this game like a year and a half ago like this physical copy in my Nintendo 64 and it was just a thing where I just had this little memory and I 100 percent at the game my first try and uh, it just means so much so I'm gonna also mention that the the moat you see there it like if you don't drain the water I mean the water will be there if you didn't drain it so uh, that's the thing and uh, also Wario and Luigi will not be there if you did not unlock them so that's one thing because you have to unlock Mario to even get past the star door I'm talking way too much because there's so much to talk about but uh, just because or, uh, I just you know Mario's a game that made me started like because my parents they looked at me like really Oh, thank you. Uh, really liking this game, so they bought me a Nintendo 64 for my sixth birthday. So this game really started my hobby. You know what I'm doing right now. So in my next let's play, it's the game that started my channel, and uh, I'll be glad to show you that. So in the next let's play, you're gonna see. Uh, 
I'm not gonna say anything, but um, hopefully I'll see you there. So uh, white tigers and dragons to you, and see you in my next let's play. Thank you so much for playing in my game.